In this video, I'm going to show how to download and install SISM Sampler IDE. SISM, or Simple ASM, is simple open source across platform IDE for NASIM, MASIM, GS, FASIM sampling language. Uh, we are going to use the NASIM, which is NetWide Sampler. It is designed for use on X. 86 machines. It supports a wide range of features, including macro, conditional sampling, and debugging. It is good for both beginner and experienced sampling programmer. Uh, the official web page is like this one. So let's let's go to the web page. Uh, basically, if you make a search system, you will find the second one. The, here the official web page. Uh, if you click this one, you're going to uh, get into this page. This is the interface what it's going to be look like. Uh, you can download the exe file or zip file or for the Linux. We are going to use the Windows. So let's download the window. Uh, it is very small. It's only a 19 megabyte. Uh, you see here also can be installed in the Mac. Let's go to the download folder to find out this is the file. It's exe file, so you double click to install it. To install software, you need system admin privilege to install in your local machine. Installation procedure is very simple, straightforward, uh, nothing special. Just click the License agreement, click shortcut, and then click install. Okay. After you install, you will see this shortcut on your screen, on your desktop. Uh, before we do anything, the first step we need to set it up. Uh, make sure you go to the settings and click settings. Uh, this is color, so we are going to see here, go to Build tab. The default is x86. Uh, this is the one we are going to use, x86, that is a 32-bit. The default option is NAS. Uh, we are going to use this sampler, NAS, N-A-S-M. Okay, and then you click Apply and click OK. Uh, from here, you can create your own uh, project. So click the new. Uh, this is the default. They are going to uh, have color coded. Uh, for the interface here, has several buttons. Uh, for example, this hammer button is a build. Uh, if you build your sampling language, you will see this green color log. That means successfully. And this green button, you are going to run your program. Uh, if you get this program finished normally, you will see this how many seconds you finished. Uh, one thing you probably always want to use this debug button. When you debug, they are going to stop in the uh, first line to move ESP to EBP. Then you can, you see here, step into step over then you can step into it so move to next line step into it move to another line you see debugging started uh, the input output if you have your code uh, ready the variables is going to show on here okay after you finish you can click this uh, stop button okay it's very easy to use. You can debug it, and then this syntax with color coded. Uh, you have this monix. You see, this is monix operand. Use common to separate. Um, make sure you understand this semicolon is not the part of the program. Semicolon is just uh, for mark and the comments. The here, you, you see, start with semicolon. This is green color, that means it's comments. Semicolon used for the comments. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time.